Folks, uh, good and bad news. Uh, the good news is that it's a nice day. And the bad news is that it's a nice day. Uh, why is it bad news if it's a nice day? Well, um, when the weather's fine, people tend to behave themselves pretty much universally. <laughs> so when it's raining, or oh, it's exceedingly hot, that tempers fray uh, and things go wrong. Notice that the lifeguards are still here, and notice that the trooper uh, that's up on the horse here was uh, was the boxman the other day. A uh, new trooper was the boxman with those very, very naughty uh, Frenchy students, those étudiants uh, who were unceremoniously schooled by, uh, by their teacher. Oh. Even the police are happy it's a nice morning. Look, everyone's in a good, everyone's in a good mood. Including that lovely fluffy horse. However, folks, what I'm hoping uh, is to catch the lifeguards heading out shortly. Fingers crossed. I mean, easier said than done. I know you think it's simple, guys. I just turn up here, I switch on the camera, film it, go home. It ain't that easy, people. Why? Because sometimes it just goes wrong. We've seen it here before. Just like, for example, if this chap who can't decide what, what he wants to do with his right hand, if he decides to extend it, boom, grab those reins, you know what's going to happen. Even the horse is happy, look, everyone's happy. In fact, smiles all round, look, some short sleeves, some of the officers. I mean, does it get any better, folks? This time next month, Easter. The horse he here is going back shortly. He is, look, he's happy as well. Everyone is in a good mood. Morning. in the yard. It's gloriously deserted here actually this morning and more importantly folks um, it is would you believe uh, a long guard. How do I know that? Well uh, it's not because I've got any kind of superpowers it's because I just spotted <laughs> uh, at quite some distance I must say the, uh, the regimental standard uh, and the captain is wearing his <laughs> His glorious scarlet. Good morning. Yep, they're just arriving. I thought you wouldn't be long. <laughs> uh, I, I had a feeling it would be a long guard this morning. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh. Second, yeah. that's get, that's getting in trouble now for standing at the crossing point. Interesting. Yeah, slight change over there this morning because of all the, the traffic trouble. The trumpet didn't go all the way up. Ah. They just stopped at the bottom here. What's happened at the mouth? No, so that's all these road works and that. Oh, at the bottom here? He normally goes right to the top, but he just stopped down the bottom and waited for a while, came back. I said the horse is going to be in a good mood. He, he didn't know they were coming yet. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go back into the yard. Yeah, it's more likely to see him then. See you shortly. I have no idea, folks, whether or not it's going to be possible to get onto the other side this morning. Uh, our timing is quite fortuitous with it being a long guard. However, uh, I don't want to take the you-know-whats. This end of the tunnel is not being policed this morning. So I'm not just going to run over onto the other corner without uh, getting express permission to do so. Notice the trooper is doing his last rounds, in fact, final rounds of the lifeguard trooper. Beautifully deserted in the yard this morning. It so rarely happens like this, especially when it's a sunny day. I'm really, really happy that, uh, that we've got a lot of space. I am super tempted, actually, guys, to, uh, <laughs> to head over to the magic corner. Actually, wait, let me ask them. I don't think, given the uh, the situation here with the thin spread, that uh, that they'll say yes, but. Doesn't hurt to ask, I guess. Is the corner closed? Is it okay to go into the corner? Is it okay to go here or this side? Cheers. Okay. I said, guys, that it's okay for me to go behind this white line. That's all right. For the changeover. Good, good, good. Okay, we won't get a trumpet solo in the yard. 
Why? I don't know why, but we haven't had one for a while. Temperature-wise, you might not notice it from how people are dressed, uh, including myself, who's overdressed. But, folks, uh, it's probably the hottest day of the year already. At the moment, some people are not quite getting it. This guy. Oh, he heard just in the minute. Just in the nick of time. That officer doesn't take any nonsense. I feel quite pro. Oh. <laughs> the Frenchy or Spanish stories were saying hello. Like the words of the guard the other day. Hello. Are they going to say hello to us? Nope, they're not, guys. Nope, no hellos. No hellos for us today. We've got a an EU blockade ongoing, everybody. Anybody from an EU country, be it uh, France, Spain or Italy, doesn't say hello anymore to this channel uh, because they've been too ashamed by uh, the behaviour of a tiny minority. So yeah, EU-wide blockade on London City Walks. Oh well, guess we'll have to make it a Commonwealth channel. <laughs> Rebrand it with, the, with some Commonwealth flags. It is what it is. Now, my sort of joking uh, earlier on this morning about it being something of a sad day. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. That wasn't completely me joking. Uh, there, there'll be a moment of melancholy in this video, folks. Blues and Royals arriving first. Here we are. will be a moment of melancholy in uh, in today's video. Uh, some of you will have already probably guessed why. Uh, don't worry guys, I'm not uh, about to close the channel. I haven't been issued with a cease and desist uh, notice. Something else. Uh, that's, there's another reason. Oh, hold on. Lifeguard Trooper is going to open up the boxes. Uh, meanwhile, the postman is carrying a heavy load. Actually, I think that's probably a DPD driver. <laughs> Penny's dropping slowly. It is surprising that the uh, the troopers and the guards are wearing their long coats uh, today. Right now, folks, it is. Would you believe a staggering? Yeah, get ready for it, folks. Uh, a staggering 16 degrees okay now I know you're thinking god that's freezing blah 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 but <laughs> in London terms for this time of the year it's pretty hot at this rate we're going to be at 25 for the Easter holidays and we know what's going to happen then don't we yes we do oh I forgot actually today's free coffee morning Stinky, actually, now that they've come in, the best spot is going to be on the other corner because the two new horses will come out. So, from this corner, guys, our favorite corner, it'll be the best spot to watch the two new horses, especially as they'll be the first Blues and Royals horses uh, of this changeover. Hopefully, they'll be out in a few minutes. It varies massively, but the thing is, if I go to the front, they could come out momentarily on the other hand if I go to the front I could stand there for 10 minutes and wait for them it's a bit unfortunate but there we are uh, the Daily Mail coverage guys uh, I know a lot of you were talking about it in the comments yeah it was surprising I was genuinely surprised having read through it uh, that it seemed to be balanced uh, it certainly was not and I really really was happy about that it was not in any way jingoistic it was not in any way, uh, I would say, overly critical uh, uh, of the behaviour of anyone. It was pretty well balanced in the sense that, yes, you know, tourists need to get a little bit more aware of the role and function of this place uh, and of the guards that work here. And if they do that, then the problems that we've seen before 
the confrontations we've seen, police, stories, etc., uh, will reduce dramatically. <laughs> the officer saying bonjour. It's like, bonjour. Very friendly, friendly Frenchies. I wonder why they're being so friendly. What I think happened, guys, uh, is that President Macron went on French national TV uh, the day after the Frenchie video was published, Monday that is, uh, 8 p.m. local time in Paris, and he said, all citizens, I must make you aware of a video that's been brought to my attention by the chief of presidential staff about some very disrespectful citizens of France when they visited London. He said, I implore you, uh, citizens of France, not to respect our long and uh, <laughs> fine tradition of cooperation uh, and affection with our horse beef counterparts uh, across the English Channel. And it seems to have worked, okay? Do you see this? The kids are coming, they're waving, the officers are saying hello, good morning, and the officers are saying bonjour. Okay, we have established, guys, through virtue of highlighting misbehavior, we've established an all new Anglo-French Entente Cordiale. How about that? You wouldn't believe it, would you? Uh, so thank you to the French president for his announcement on TV, for mentioning the channel. Uh, and thank you to all of you for bringing to my attention the fact that we were in the Daily Mail. More importantly, I couldn't find it, guys, and look at my friend. Somebody had said the channel was on the BBC. Where? Does anybody actually see or hear the channel ever mentioned on the BBC? Because I couldn't find it. Okay, and I spent a good amount of time looking. I said to my friend, so... Oh. Someone is getting very much shouted at. You notice that there are workers walking around uh, flashing their... Oh, <laughs> photographers here. Flashing their cards and so on. There's still work on going here. Even though they finished the work in the yard some time ago, the... Uh, the other works are still ongoing, folks. Yep. Uh, internal works. Hell of a lot going on here, actually. Upgrades, etc. Yeah, isn't it lovely to see that everybody gets on? The troopers are not having to shout. The police are able to enjoy uh, policing without babysitting stupid tourists. Uh, and more importantly, the tourists are happy because they know the almost. I mean, a high degree of certainty that they're not going to end up uh, ashamed or ashamed uh, <laughs> on various YouTube channels. Come on, Blues, they're going to keep us waiting, guys. They're, they're probably behind in the stable area debating. Shall we put Ormond back on duty or not? Yeah, that's what I think is happening. If they don't come out soon, then it's not going to be a two-parter today. It's going to be a, probably a seven-parter. I've stuck myself in the corner, everybody, without being able to move. So the question is, how long is it going to take them to come out? Uh, it's ten minutes past. Okay, I'm a fan of architecture, isn't it? Otherwise, uh, yeah. Those long moments in the yard, what would I do? I'm thinking that shortly as well, we'll see the uh, Union flag, among others, rehung. Likely, actually, next month. They've already started putting up the seating at the back, as we saw on Monday. Uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that the flags will be up before trooping the colour, etc., etc. We did ask in the comments as well, um, and it's a question that I still don't know the answer to, to my shame. Oh, hold on a second, the dog walking troopers are back, look. <laughs> They've got a dog each. Yeah, the question that, uh, that a lot of you have wondered, and I will try and clarify it, I keep forgetting, I don't know why. Um, how do they choose which horse goes in the box? Now, thinking back to discussions 
earlier on, this is late last year, uh, I seem to recall that it's solely down to the corporal of horse. He will decide, look, we're going to take out this horse or that horse, etc. Based, I guess, on two factors. One, the horse hasn't been taken off any time recently for uh, misbehaving. And two, uh, the horse is fit uh, and healthy for duty. Bear in mind the horses are also troopers, guys. They hold the ranks of the rank of trooper. And the drum horses are majors. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's down to that. Happy horse, healthy horse, uh, and the horse having not been, uh, I was gonna use the word discipline, but I wouldn't really, I mean, the horse is never disciplined, but you know what I mean. The horse having not seriously misbehaved or indeed hit, kicked, whatever, troopers or public recently. I'm very much thinking, folks, that uh, the worst way, we've probably got three minutes. Oh, hold on, I'm hearing the commands. They always aim to be out, <laughs> officers saying behind the white line, drop, drop. They always aim to be out by 15 past. So, uh, to their credit, they're a bit early today. Here we are. Horsey number one. And number two. You can't wait to get to the box. I don't recognise, guys, uh, from this point which two horses we've got. I should recognise this one, but I don't. Super, super long bushy forelock. Single little sock on the right hand side, front hoof. Neither of these horses are Mond, I can tell you that, 100%. But then again, last time they surprised us by bringing him out second. Oh, look. Bing bong, look at that, dead on 15 minutes past. And goodbye to these two beauties. <laughs> yes, folks, non commissioned officer in the Blues and Royals removing the lifeguards oh one second I think he's lost his dog did we see the dog run back in guys we didn't did we where's the dog gone I think the dog decided he wants to spend a day at Buckingham Palace oh <laughs> it's always running out of the way wait Last relief for the lifeguards. Here they come. Losing rules take you over from the lifeguards. He spotted something he needs to adjust. Once 
there merge with that uh, final lifeguard. That's it. Changeover is complete. Regimental changeover, that is. best guys uh, we'll have a look at the two horses in a minute I'll do my best to be in the yard again when uh, when the long goal comes through with that grey of 18th century London, everybody, and tradition, uh, and architecture, of course, here in the centre of London in 2024. Oh, that was interesting. You see this? He screamed for the make way. And that was interesting because it was a very large group of, uh, <laughs> of youngsters. Blues are back on fine form. Okay, I'm now allowed to move, people. That's the good news. So I can head back to the front, luckily, and out of the gates. Wow, that was uh, that was quite the moment, in fact, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, the gatesman was not having it at all. He just pushed right through, uh, made it very clear that they needed to uh, just stand aside. Okay, who have we got at the front? Let's see. Fastly populated horse guards, folks, this morning, which I guess in some respects is good. I mean, it won't last, it never does. Oh, this trooper hasn't been here for ages, in fact. Now, which little beauty have we got here, I wonder? Immediate instinctive guess, and there. Now, is the moment I find out that I'm wrong. Let's see. It is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hey, gonna get those people. It's a mare, uh, and this horse is named Yvonne. That was absolutely top of my head. For some weird reason, I had a lyric in my mind. God knows why. That would be completely wrong. But Yvonne, 100% a mare. This one is 100% not a mare. Either that, or it's a, a massively oversized mare. Wow, that's a very cute looking horse. I think instinctively, it's uh, Yosemite. That would be my bet. Let's see. Gosh, if I'm right, I'm gonna be very impressed. It'll be the first time ever, guys, in history that I got them both right without checking. Number is hmm. I'm kind of stuck actually between two possibilities because the second digit is a bit of a mess. Wait, let me try again. Actually, you know what? I don't need to. It is a new one everybody wait, I'm gonna take another super close-up of that hoof just to make sure wait, wait for this uh this guy's get out of the way the second number is super squishy and it could be one of two. Oh, nope I'm happy to call it everybody this horse who we have definitely never seen before yeah a thousand percent we've never seen this horse before um, it's a frothy mouth that made me think Yosemite, but not as big and, and bulky as Yosemite. The head's a bit smaller. Anyway, this horse, guys, is having a little yawn. It's called Vulcan. Would you believe? How about that? Yep. We would have had a, a trackie 
a Star Trek fan uh, in the blues. That probably suggested the name of this horse. How oh, about that? That is an extraordinary name, isn't it? And looking at where um, Yvonne is on the list, which troop she's in, etc. Uh, yeah, that supports not only the hoof number, but also the fact we haven't seen the horse before, and more importantly, they are in the same troop. They're super close together on the list. Oh, bit of a yawn there with a the bit. I need actually to write these two down, folks, because uh, there was zero chance of remembering them both. So we've got Y and V. Let's pop them into the little list before I move again. People are starting to arrive, which is good. Except they go too close to the horse. Nope. <laughs> I think it's more likely the horse runs off at this point than uh, the notorious go close to the horse. French is a German. Wait. Okay, so today is one plus. Glorious Vulcan. I think I will likely concentrate on Vulcan uh, because having not seen him before we have no idea what his temperament's like. Is he a big softy or is he a mini like a Klingon? Oh, somebody said something something with this horse. Hopefully keep your distance from the king's horse. You know what happened to the other French humans that were here on Monday is what she just said to her friend. Here is Maman. Ah. That was kind of well-timed and not well-timed at the same time, everybody. Uh, well-timed in the sense that, yes, rather fortunately, here come the lifeguards, they're leaving. Uh, but not well timed in the sense that I would have liked to have been closer to the, the tunnel itself. There we are. Yep. Uh, we have got everybody, a captain uh, in the yard as well this morning. Let us think he's. Uh... Actually, wait, I might be wrong. Hold on, let, let's, don't hold me to that. I just noticed the three circles on his shoulders. The, are they Pips people? I'm really not familiar with, uh, with soldiers in their camos that are non HCAV. But then again, I could be right, I don't know. That would have been my instinctive guess, but one of you will know better, folks. Uh, I'm not going to interrupt him uh, by asking, but I'm pretty, pretty sure. Uh, oh. Let's see. Wait for those blues to come through. Ah, uh, another thing is I want to go back onto the corner. What do we think? It's a toughie. Important, I believe, is coming. Hold on. I heard the uh, the chappy say, "Here he comes. Here who comes? Have we got a VIP guest coming today, everybody?" That would certainly explain why the police were focused more on the front gates today than uh, than spread out. Who could it be? The special guest? Could it be Monsieur Macron? Just to re reaffirm the, uh, the affection, and love between our two fine nations. I have no idea. Who could the VIP guest be? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a long guard as well this morning. But I heard them mentioning they're waiting for somebody here. Maybe a VIP is coming as well. I'm not sure whether that's a captain, the, the chap over here. Well, we've we got colours with them, it means that someone's in battle with colours. Okay. If they're carrying colours. Yeah, let's see who else. Oh, here we go. There was a salute. Ah, okay, so I'm guessing, folks, that is either... Oh, yes, there's a view going in here. Yeah? I that's can tell me in the back Yeah. In the summer, when I get to go for that, they line up there. I'm thinking this fellow here, yeah, MOD official, maybe a colonel or um, a lieutenant colonel. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, yeah. Somebody important. Uh, so important that they're able to watch from an extremely privileged position without getting screamed at. Look at this, they're even allowed to stand in the tunnel. Yep, 
Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that was a captain. Okay, here we go, everybody. I will move back in a second <clears throat> as they come through. I'm gonna get this grey very cool in this frame. Wow. I think Ian the King might be back in London for treatment. Glorious. Yep. We're going to get everybody now. The uh, the uh, regimental colours are going to be taken, I think, by the last corporal of horse. It'd be interesting to see it handed down, because we're normally over on that corner looking at the uh, the line from the front. So I actually don't mind being in this position today. It's good to shake it up. Here he comes to pick up those uh, regimental... Yeah, yeah, regimental colours being taken in. I've never actually seen them go into another trooper's hand. Sorry guys, not a trooper, he's the last corporal of force. That was lucky. I mean, bad luck turned into good luck, didn't it, Ben? That one moment I thought I was in the wrong spot. And then, boom. Oh, of course he's had a bad morning again. Very nervous, I think, look. Yeah, that grey has uh, made a bit of a mess. Oh boy. I think that's the grey that had a problem last time. It flies everywhere, actually. Okay, I mean, that was quite the privilege, uh, and it certainly explains where everybody else was. I mean, look, they all stuffed out the back. I was thinking it was oddly quiet. Let's hope nobody decides to walk out of the fast entrance. Okay, let's beat the crowds, guys, and get to the front. Okay, so the special guest... Uh, was either a senior MOD official or senior officer, who, as you saw, uh, was not in uniform, uh, to be greeted by a captain. And again, having heard him speak, even though I wasn't sure, now I am, that was certainly a captain. Now, is anybody going to be silly enough to come through the, uh, the Express EU exit, also known as the box? Let's see. Come on, don't be scared, folks. The horse will not bite. Only kick. Horses, many of whom have been clipped. I'm Vulcan the other end at the moment. People are focusing more on this horse. Don't know why, what's it? Oh! 
Ask the guard, and she says yes, you can. I don't, I don't think they are allowed to talk. No, but she'll nod. Yeah, she'll nod. She will nod. Or she'll ignore you. It's 50 50. Yeah, it can't hurt to ask. <laughs> I don't know. That's a, that's a very small carrot. I know. <laughs> it's a teeny weeny carrot. I what just happened. It suddenly got a little busy. Oops. He's uh, debating with his friends whether or not it's sensible. He's not uh, being a joker. He honestly wants uh, to be polite and find out if he's allowed to give the little carrot to the horse. It's a super cute little carrot. It's the smallest carrot I've ever seen. Let's see. Look. It's the world's smallest carrot. <laughs> Oh. Okay. She, oh, he tried. Respect to him for asking. Did, uh, did any of you pick up on which language they were speaking? I thought they were Dutch initially, but now I'm thinking Nordic actually. Very nice to see that uh, he didn't just assume he could uh oh <laughs> it look on his face <laughs> he looks proper vexed after that oh. goodness me yeah he was not happy he that uh the guy that looked a little bit upset with the trooper having got that close was uh, was with the group that brought the carrot <laughs> Okay, now the interesting thing is going to be, being at this end, if the trooper decides to remain, will this be, as it's a warm day, the first time we get a trooper standing at the end of the tunnel for a fixed period of time, or is he going to flip around and vanish on us? Let's see, everybody. Yep, he's back already. It was worth a try. It was definitely worth a try. So he said, he said no about the carrot. He said no. I when, think so. Yeah. Which country are you guys from? Norway. Oh, you're Norwegians. Wow, well, I'm good. Okay, I was right with my little Nordic. Uh, yeah, Norwegians. Wow. Did we come across Norwegians here at horse cars before? Maybe we did. Everybody looks fascinated. Look, they're all like, whoa. And I can't say, in all honesty, everybody, that I blame them. But that's a lot of uh, a lot of eyeballs to be on you, though, isn't it? Of a morning. Bear in mind that no one's yet super close to the trooper. They're all really far back, but that is not going to last. Get ready for it. Let's hope, though, everybody, that people are respectful today. We've seen what happened last week. In fact, what happened on Monday, plus last week, plus the week before last week. That's pretty much every week, uh, if we're honest. Semi blocks. Let's see if anyone actually says thanks. Yep, there we are. She 
just said thank you. What a lovely visitor. Will they all be so thoughtful and kind? Yes, is the short, is the short answer. second that sun comes out guys uh, and it's bright 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 here day after day after day I eat from the Easter holidays hopefully what we've just seen the troop in the tunnel that is uh, should hopefully at least when the blues are on be uh, a daily occurrence don't forget it is somewhat cumbersome to be walking up and down through the tunnel in that flipping heavy cloak especially when it's this uh, this warm but this time next month I believe the troopers will be back in their cuirasses. Coats hung back up, not to be seen until the end of the year. Oh goodness me, it seems like it's been a hell of a long time actually since we've seen the, the troopers on June in the cuirass. Thank you. Everyone getting a picture today has no idea they are lucky enough to be with a new horse. Oh, new to this channel anyway. Shouting, folks. Can you hear that in the distance? Very, very. Uh... I think somebody's just been told that uh, there are horses here. No, you promised me we'd go and look at animals in London. I wanted to see the zoo. <laughs> to be honest, though, if you've got a large family, the idea of taking them to London Zoo, you need to remortgage your house. Even uh, I was reading yesterday, ticket to the Tower of London, adult ticket is now thirty-four pounds eighty which uh, is extraordinary. And the second we just walked away, everybody, would you believe it? We just had somebody massively shouted at for being on the reins. Heard you officers here. That was the loudest shout we've heard in ages. What a pity I was in the yard when it happened. Who would it have been, I wonder, which naughty tourist just grabbed the reins? Let's ask. Wow. Which, which naughty tourist was it? Um, the guy in red? No, no, I think it's the guy in the black leather jacket over there. You know, the two kids. Oh, uh, really? One of those two, yeah. Oh dear, naughty, naughty. It's good to hear them shout though, isn't it? Wow, been a while. <laughs> okay, guys, so I guess... Uh, yeah, I mean, Shannon's back on the menu. The, the great pity about that shout that we just heard from the yard it's one that's lost forever for posterity why only me here today folks yeah there's no one else yet uh, that I know will recognize filming that's a shame isn't it would you believe it eh? <laughs> I bet if I stand here now for three hours or whatever there'll be no more shouts but that was a massive massive loud shout which proves that Contrary to what we were suspecting, the Blues and uh, indeed the lifeguards have not been silenced at all. We just haven't had the situation whereby somebody's gone up and been massively, massively, massively disrespectful 
by grabbing and or holding the rein, requiring that kind of uh, that kind of a shout. Ah, somebody's lost something, in fact. Tom said, are you retracing your steps? So it means he probably lost something, came back to look for it. Oh dear. It's great to know that, uh, that the Blues are able to shout that loudly. So, so much for the popular perception that there'd been some kind of a, a ban. Now, either there was, but it was temporary and it's been lifted, or the trooper couldn't care less and decided to shower anyway, or, third case, uh, it was an, an active decision to be super loud. I'm glad you're here. Literally about five minutes ago, I missed it because I was in the yard, there was a massive shout to get off the rings by this trooper. Um, I, I heard it, I was just, just in the gate, but I didn't get it. And annoyingly, no one else is here this morning. So that's one that was lost, but really loud, like the old days. I bet now, even if you're here, I'm here the whole day. Nothing, no more. Absolute flipping sod's law. And the funny thing is, guys, you heard I mentioned to the officer, who was it, uh, that grabbed the reins. It's a curious one, that, because the person that did it was, uh, was with his two kids. So I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have done it intentionally. Well, well, well. I mean, thankfully, at least, we were at this end, and not, for example, in the tunnel, and able to hear. Hopefully that shout really, really, really clearly came through in the audio. So we know Trooper here and Vulcan are not taking any nonsense today. Should it happen? Okay, being bonked, that means the Trooper's about to emerge from the tunnel. Now if this Trooper, uh, who was very, very, very vocal this morning, when we had that very, very large group of uh, of youngsters in the way in the yard. If he was able to be vocal with them, it'll be super interesting to see if he's vocal with uh, with anybody else that gets in his way. At the moment, it's clear. Look at her face. She's like, well, uh, we don't have that in Denmark. Yes. I'm not going to... You know what? The annoying thing is, this time, I bet the troop will stand at the end of the tunnel for probably half an hour because I'm not going in the tunnel. This is a massive shout. Yep. Good to know that uh, that's back on the menu, isn't it? What other are you based in Boston? Finally. Apparently, yeah, somebody had uh, their hand right up on the bridle, folks. And just the moment when there's a massive French group that just arrived there. We get other groups of this. I just know I'm going to judge it wrong this morning, folks. And I was right about the trooper. He is in the end of the tunnel still. He didn't move. So, would you believe it? But I bet. Now we're heading towards the tunnel. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> now he's coming back. Some days it's very easy and it always goes right. Other days, nope. Chocolate oh. <laughs> had a change of uh, change of mind. It looked for a moment that he was going to walk back through the front gates which would be odd, but not impossible. I mean, he's allowed to do it. Oh, this, this group seems fascinated by the officer's guns. I mean, to be fair, it is a very rare sight, even in London. So my initial plan of uh, standing right in front of Vulcan 
uh, was the right decision. However, at the moment I'm not standing right in front of Vulcan. Boom. However, the day is young, guys, and it will, in all likelihood, <clears throat> be a two-parter. We'll see. Easily in short, uh, shorts and a t-shirt, no problem at all today. in the warm weather. It is absolutely baking, guys. I'm not exaggerating. It's so, so warm. Lovely. Wish I put my sun hat on. However, interesting, the trooper's already out again. That was quick. He just finished, and here he comes again. What am I missing? Nothing. He's already back out again. And the time is 10 to noon. He literally just came out. <laughs> yeah, even the photographer's looking puzzled. Okay, the good news, folks, is that there are a few people that have arrived to film as well, so. Uh, I will not feel bad if uh, there's not a part of it. Key thing is that there's always somebody here to capture what happens. Oh, she's actually walking into the box, talking to the lady trooper. She's brave or uh wonder why the horse is not in a good mood. Look at this. That's really extraordinary in fact. It's great that the trooper didn't tell her to get out because she's young. But more importantly one second. The horse uh the horse doesn't seem to have a problem with it. That was interesting though. That had been adult. We, we know what had happened. Oh, I knew the horse was in a good mood today. Yeah, I don't understand why he came out uh, so quickly. It was only a six minute gap between the first rounds and the second rounds. Very curious. Oh, she's in her, uh, she's, 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 she
she, she's angry between left so I can slightly sleep a bit as well. Yeah. I did wonder that in fact when I first arrived. It has moved over, hasn't it? Yeah. I think the blues, they're still unpacking their kit inside because uh, even the, uh, the stableman hasn't been out. This is why it was a bit odd that she didn't say anything when they go into the box. If the horse had the little meltdown like that when the little yeah, girl was in the yeah, box, that yeah. would have been not a good situation at all. Yeah, she, she, she keeps like sliding to the left. This saddle's gone. Yeah, actually, I'm going to mention it to them so that they know. It's probably a good idea. One second. Oh, yeah. Uh, she didn't push the bump, but the saddle's really gone to one side. This is why the horse yeah, is having a bit of a. Yeah, trying to get out. The thing is, they get smart. They know it is coming up to their time to go Yeah, in. it's very close. <laughs> Except it stays. The saddle's gone really, yeah. really close to one side. Yeah, I think she knows. The five minutes, yeah? Yeah. Oof. Cheers, Venlo. Yeah, all right. Okay, only got five minutes or so. That would have been... Uh, wow, what can we say, folks? Uh, yeah. Not not very uh, nice at all. Notice how quickly... I need to rewatch the footage, but the horse moves super fast moments after the girl had left the box it's almost as though the horse was waiting for her to leave the box before having a the horse that is having a little moment that can't just be uh, good fortune i'm sure she's thinking hold on a second i don't want to have my little spin around and potentially hurt this kid we know that horses know a lot of you have mentioned it before and we've seen many times when there have been situations where we thought there might be a problem with a kid getting injured it's never happened the horses do instinctively seem to uh, to know. Problem is, it's kicking a little bit as well in the box. It is only five minutes, but anything can happen in five minutes until the changeover. Good. Where's our friend? Where's our friend? He's off. He's <laughs> off. First, first day off in a month, probably. Our, our mutual friend. Wow, see? I was surprised. Uh, me too, in fact. To get here and not see him is I, like I, I walking outside and not seeing the sun. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's happened here? Imagine, guys, that the horse decide to have a moment right now. Look. When there's a French blockade. Actually, wait, no. I think it's actually a British blockade of the box. We haven't got enough sort of earthy colours uh, on show here for them to be Frenchies. Now she's nibbling the other uh, side of the box. It's like, look, oh my breakfast. In fact, the time is going to be pretty much spot on uh, in terms of seeing which horses come out next. Look at the clock, yeah, pretty much, which is good. Okay, we'll leave that beauty alone. I don't want that horse to, uh, to be any more freaked out than she already is. I'm sure a lot of you horsey folks would have noticed. I didn't actually, to be honest, but then I wasn't really paying attention. Would or should have noticed that. Get off. Get off. <laughs> there we go. Not the massive scream that we heard earlier on, but the blues on it. I don't think <laughs> guilty look on his face. I don't think that uh, that he understood what was being said. Now the reason I'm in the yard, everybody, uh, I did mention that potentially uh, there might be a semi or even need overtly melancholic moment. Uh, wasn't expected to be near the end of the video, but. Who's this? Last day, yeah? Last guard. Last guard and last day. Yep, folks. Last day, last guard. Yep. It's this trooper. You all know him. Doesn't need an introduction from me. Uh, it's his final day uh, on guard. Uh, and in the army. He is on to pastures new and hopefully greener. Um, in the equestrian world, I won't say anything more about that, but 
obviously, uh, being someone that a lot of you have been watching for a long time, a trooper that has made a real impact uh, in terms of how HCAV and the troopers are perceived by the public. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a real shame to see him go. However, I'm sure that like me, you will uh, all wish him only the very best in his future endeavours. People with a kind heart always do well in life, whatever they do. Uh, and that trooper certainly has that, folks. We've all seen it many, many times in countless famous videos. me then for a second. Nope, it's not me. Okay. Yeah. Kind of a sad moment, I'm sure. Um, he's an optimistic fellow, very friendly, very affable and very kind, but when you've done something that you really love for a long time and all of a sudden that changes, yeah, not an easy thing, I guess. I'm kind of in the middle because I have no clue which of the horses might end up with the uh, an issue. It's brilliant to see the trooper behind us. Notice he was really, really eyeballing that tourist, who I think... No, they're still not listening. That tourist, so I think he's thinking, hopefully one of you will ID the language. I think it, he was Greek. Yeah, this, uh, this mare is not having a good morning at all. I don't know what it is, but she cannot wait to get back. The stables. <clears throat> the saddle was really slipped over onto the horse's ride. Slightly concerned, not that it should be, I mean the, the troopers are a professional. Let's hope that when the horse kind of goes round, turns into the yard, it doesn't slip any further. Maybe a few minutes. Because she's seeing at a good 30 degree angle, I would say, realistically. Oh, look, someone with headphones does. That's <laughs> better. Oops. <clears throat> right, here come the two new beauties. Will we get Ormond? I really, 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 really doubt it for some reason. But hey, you never know. Look, it's like, yes. It's noon, you put it. I'm just hearing. This elegant horse that we're looking at at the moment doesn't look familiar to me. Let's see when the uh, he or she gets in the box. So kids are in front of the bollards, that's what uh, the officer is mentioning. Trooper sitting at an angle, folks. She did well. But then, for some reason, the uh, lady troopers always do. Whenever we think there's going to be a problem, they've always got it completely under control. Okay, let's have a look at who we've got this end first before I go to the other end. The other horse has got a very distinctive blaze. Who is this little beauty? Let's see. It's got a super shiny hoof. Okay, the number now. 
Huh. Another mare back at everybody. Uh, that horse is Lyric. Lyric. Troopers back out yet again. Meanwhile, look at this. Wow. Oops, almost fell into the road then. I need to be more careful. Okay, so we had a mare that just went Yvonne in the other box to be replaced by another mare. Lyric. I mean, I wasn't miles off when I was initially thinking it might have been Lyric. The other horse is wildly different. No idea which horse it is, but let's find out. Box is locked. Of course, he is not going anywhere now. Just when I went down there after telling you about the trooper shouting, somebody else did it. But there, grabbed the reins again, yeah. This time he didn't shout it really loudly, but he said, Oi, get off, and the guy just stood there with his hand on the reins. Yeah, so it's good to know. It wasn't, not, it wasn't, it wasn't that trooper, it's the one that just went off. So it's really good to know that they're, they're back telling them, don't touch the slipping reins, yeah. Just in time for the summer. It's the same. It is. <laughs> Actually, wait. Talking about the where's the sign? <laughs> Just, I didn't even notice. Hold on. Yep, <laughs> folks. Look, you've got a better eye than me. Where is the sign? The sign is missing. It's been gone for a few days. I think someone. No, but on Monday they were both back. They they, they bought back. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they. Were, <laughs> wait. Someone it. I'm going to go and ask. Hold on, <laughs> guys. Let me see <laughs> if uh, before he's finished. Wait. Let me let him know because I'm wondering if it's been forgotten. I think it might have been. Let's uh, let's find out. One second. Let's see. Okay, chain's going up. And I'll mention before we finish this part that the sign is missing. There's only one sign. Where's it? Where's it? There's somebody still got the sign. This, this box has got the sign, but that box has got no sign. Oh, that's because it broke. <laughs> Did it really? <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, there we have it, guys. <laughs> it broke. The, the sign broke. <laughs> uh, it wasn't his fault, as he just told us. Uh, maybe it dropped, I don't know what happened, but it's broken. So, <laughs> that would explain why there's no second sign. At least we know that clears up the mystery of uh, of the absent sign uh, right on time. So again, everybody, uh, I'm sure you'll all wish me or join me, sorry, rather, in wishing the trooper all the best uh, with whatever he does next. And today's video uh, is very much dedicated to uh, to him and his family. Thank you for your service, trooper. Guys, uh, back shortly. Bye for now.